Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, September 12, 2014. This week, using a stamp to create a paper accent. Brushes are one of my favorite embellishments because they're so versatile. You can use them like digital rubber stamps or as erasers, as clone stamps, and many other ways. One way to get more from your brushes and stamps is to use them to create textured digital paper accents for your projects. Here's how. All of the Designer Digital's brushes come with a PNG version as well as the ABR brush file. To get started, open a PNG brush image of your choice. For the sample, I'm using Katie Pratit's Pole Tab Sentiments. Alternatively, you can open a new transparent document and use the brush tool to stamp an image onto the new document in the color of your choice. Press Ctrl J or on a Mac system Command J to make a duplicate copy of the image. Now you'll see two copies of the image stacked over in the Layers panel at the bottom right corner of the screen. Open a piece of textured digital paper like the papers in Katie Pertit's Arctic Whites Paper Pack. Get the Move tool and drag the digital paper onto the brush image document. Position the paper so that you can get some of the texture onto your stamped image. Next, drag the paper layer between the two stamp layers in the Layers panel. With the paper layer selected, choose Layer, Create Clipping Mask. This can be found at the menu bar at the top of the page. Now you'll notice that the paper layer is indented with a little downward pointing arrow. This shows you that the digital paper is glued to the bottom stamp. Next, select the top brush image layer and recolor the image by choosing Edit Fill from the menu bar. In Photoshop Elements, this will be called Edit Fill Layer. This opens the Fill dialog box. Tick the Preserve Transparency box at the bottom and then under Contents, choose Color. This will open the color picker. From the color picker, you can choose a color or you can drag your cursor outside of the color picker and it becomes an eyedropper tool so you can pick up a color from somewhere else on your screen. When you're satisfied, click OK and then click OK again. Your top layer will now be recolored. Change the blending mode of this layer to either multiply or linear burn just experiment and see which one you like better. Either one of these blending modes will allow the texture of the paper to come through. Finally, control click or on a Mac system command click all of the layers over in the layers panel. Press control E or on a Mac system command E to merge all of the layers together. Now you can use the move tool to drag the textured paper accent onto your scrapbook page or digital project. Give the accent a drop shadow as a finishing touch. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.